keeping the sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep. No well, no well, no well, no well. Born is the king of Israel. Silent Night was always my favorite. Really? It always made me kind of sad. Yeah, me too. But you know, when I was a kid, I felt sad, which was pretty often. It made me feel better. I'm in trouble, aren't I? Well, we turned around and you weren't there. We were worried about you. Why? Because we thought you'd run away again. That's what I wanted you to think. Well, it worked. Your dad and Philip are out there looking for you right now. But you're the one who found me. Did one of your neighbors turn me in? No. I figured it out myself. How? Simple. I just asked myself what I would do if I were you. And it came to me clear as day. I wouldn't leave. <laughs> so I figured you had to be somewhere in the house and... I looked in the attic, and I looked in the basement, and I looked in the garage, and then I spotted you when I was walking back inside. And I already called Philip and told him you were up here. They'll be back any minute. Aren't you cold out there? I love the cold. Yeah, me too, <laughs> actually. You know, when I was younger, I'd get mad at the world. I'd go to this old burnt out abandoned car that Frank, my brother, and his friends would use as a fort. And I'd get in there and I'd look up at the stars and I'd vow that I was never going home this time. But I'll tell you, it got pretty lonely being out there all by myself. You were lonely? Sure. How come? Well, my dad took off before I was even born. And my mom, she wasn't around either. And my brother Frank, he raised me. He was great. But I'll tell you, even Frank didn't know what to make of me sometimes. What do you mean? Oh, I was wild. You? <laughs> yes. I, I mean, I know it's pretty hard to believe now. <laughs> but yeah, I was a pretty rebellious kid growing up. And Frank, he just, um, I guess he just didn't always understand what I was feeling inside. What were you feeling? I think the same thing as you. You know, nobody listened to me. Nobody cared what I thought, or what I wanted. Can I join you out there, Susan? what you'd hoped it'd be, has it? No, that's my fault. Susan. You know, I've been walking around here like a ghost since you showed up on my doorstep. You really surprised me. And then, you know, my, my friend, Jenna. I bet you're really missing your mother right about now. I can remember when I met your mom. What a special person I thought she was, sweetie. And she loved you with all her heart. Okay, it's not supposed to be like this. 
Mothers are supposed to be there when you need them. Why'd she have to leave me, Harley? <laughs> Why'd she have to die? <laughs> I wish I could explain to you why the people we love have to leave us so much sooner than we would like. My mother, she told me that she was going to this really beautiful place and that I could talk to her whenever I wanted and she'd be able to hear me. I talk to her sometimes. But it's not the same as having her arms around you. No. Especially when you need a hug. Harley? Yeah. What was it like when you met my mother? What do you mean? I mean, do you guys like get along? Well, Connie, she, uh, she felt that I was giving her a very, very special gift. And I knew that she was giving you a wonderful home. <laughs> so, yeah, we got along. We liked each other. And, you know, your mom, oh, she had such kind eyes. And a nice laugh. We used to watch I Love Lucy together. <laughs> Vitamin meat a vegemin. <laughs> that was our favorite. Do we? <laughs> yeah. You guys used to watch old shows together, huh? Yeah. That is so cool. That sounds like fun. Well, these guys are going to be back here any minute, sweetie, and it's getting cold out. Do you want to go in? Was it hard? Was what hard? Giving me up. I cried myself to sleep for months and months. I loved you a lot. I don't understand that. If you loved me so much, why did you give me away? When I found out I was going to have a baby, I was very, very young. I thought I knew everything. You know, I was a real tough girl, very self-sufficient. Where was your brother? Oh, he was there. He was pretty young himself. We didn't have any money. I was in high school. I, I couldn't take care of a baby. Well, I'm not my dad. I mean, my real dad. He was about as young as I was, and he couldn't have helped if he'd wanted to. I couldn't handle being a mom. And even though I hate to admit it, sweetie, I would not have been a very good mother to you. And that wouldn't have been fair. So even though it hurt me, more than anything, and it was the hardest thing I have ever had to do in my life. You gave me up. And it tore me apart. Did my precious little baby girl, you know? But, sweetie, I, I knew that your parents were great, and they absolutely adored you. It was the right thing to do. It was the loving thing to do. 
So even though I wanted you more than I have ever wanted anything in my entire life, I was not ready to be a mother to you then. So can you be a mother to me now? Oh, sweetie, I... No, it's okay. It's okay. It was stupid for me to come here. And it, it was stupid for me to actually think that you were gonna take me back. It was stupid. Susan, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, okay? If you could have anything in the whole world for Christmas, what would that be? I'd want my mom back. I'd want my dad to be happy again. And I'd want everything to be the way it used to be before she died. But it's never going to be that way, is it? You come with me. 